Good morning, welcome back to On The Road Adventure. What a glorious day to wake up here in Portugal. The sun is shining, bird song, happy days. So we've had a great morning this morning, but that has meant that we've been very comfortable around the campsite having a coffee and whatnot. And that has meant that it is now about half past 12 before we've even got off the pitch. But do you know what? We are becoming masters of this go slow, see more approach. And uh, it's probably the most relaxed way of traveling, which is really unexpected, actually. I thought the camping malarkey was going to be really stressful, but... Look this at has been you really... saying, I'll never yeah. camp again. Who knew me knocking around in crocs and that? Do you know what it is? I'm sure it makes all the difference, is this sunshine. You're walking down here, we're in the shade at the minute, but you walk through the sun, sun on your back, knocking around in your crocs and shorts. I think this is all right, you know, this is the life. It's not bad. Yeah, happy days. All right, we are heading back onto the N2. We've got about a third of Portugal left to do, about 150 miles-ish. It always seems to be longer than the sat-nav says. Well, that was a really nice campsite today, wasn't it? Nice clean facilities and whatnot. Really nice place to be, right down by the lake. We only found a couple of killer spiders, didn't we? We haven't found anything worse than that yet. Getting a little bit overconfident here with all this, I think. <laughs> we were saying just now, in all the time that we've been here in Portugal, neither one of us has seen any kind of um, speed camera or police check or anything like that. And yet, there are so many roads like this one we're on now, where the ability to speed and do, you know, mental speeds is there nobody's doing it it feels like in every way people are living the sort of laid-back way of life and just plod along 56 mile an hour and enjoy the scenery and why wouldn't you look at this check out this cool little town I love how all the buildings are painted white they're probably trying to keep them cool aren't they Brotus I smell so lovely of flowers and too I can see us uh, spending more time in Portugal. I really like it here. I do think this is probably my favourite place we've been to and ridden together so far. It's almost perfect. The weather's great. The food seems to be good. The people are relaxed. Everybody's happy. There's not too many people around. I mean, once again, look at this road. You know, I've mentioned it several times. Hardly anybody about, man. Nobody's driving like a lunatic, everybody's chilled out, everybody says hello, everybody wants to be helpful in the shops or if you need a service. And best of all, oi means hello in Portuguese, much to our delight. Oi. <laughs> you walk up to people and say oi, and they look at you and wave. Brilliant fun. We're just riding along and I just saw something uh, at the side of the road, I thought I'd go back and show you this. You see that on top of the pole in the nest? Storks. Absolutely beautiful around here. You see the stalk? There's loads of interesting wildlife here. Right, our daily Liddell's stop. Thank God for a Liddell's. You can always get some at what you want there, but this is a Liddell with a view. Have a look at this.
we're in Liddell's car park. And while I was flying the drone having a look at the medieval castle, I yeah. did notice you did not walk into Liddell's. No, because over, where, over there, there was a shop with food and I walked in and I was very confused what to get. This will be a top box dinner to remember. Top box lunch. Oh, fuck me, man. <laughs> what? What is wrong with you? What do you mean? Oh, I put that That's away. Prawns. That is fucking horrid. That's prawns. Are you serious? Yeah, you can keep that, yeah. I'm not interested. Maybe I put it in my Yeah, keep it away from the food, yeah. I cannot be the only one that refuses to eat things that smell that bad. The, the more smelly, the better it is. No. There's a cat. What is that? Oh, no. Oh. I, don't want, I don't think I want to eat from this shop, do I? Squid and uh, octopus. Oh, I'm dreading to see what you got me. Why don't you go to Liddell's? Oh, come on. A nice cross on. Have a bit of life. There you go, a safe option for Rich. <laughs> yeah? The chips. Well, that's better than that. That's another safe option to just slices of pork. That looks like some ropey looking pork. Oh, come on. Go to Liddell. I'll try it. Just seriously, this is the last time I'm sorting food for you. Yeah? Last time I got you anything. All right, well, in fairness, the pork ain't bad, to be fair. You're just rude and grumpy, you are. Last time. Next time I only get food for me and you go yourself. And I go Liddell. Yeah. yeah. Mm. So how's your fish? It's really nice. Yeah? It's like fish. You wouldn't know, would you? I don't want to know. Try the pork and see. Mm. Uneventful. Uneventful food. Just how I like it. <laughs> Look at these grapes, though. Great. Beauties. We've still got a long way to go. Come on, then. Let's go. We've been delaying this. I'm loving this, though, standing here in the sunshine. Yeah? That's just awesome, isn't it? I love it. I'm going to move here. I'm telling you, I'm not coming home. I'm staying here. I like England. Yeah? Mm. If England had sunshine, it'd be awesome, but we don't, so... It does. Yeah, I'm stopping here. Right, let's go. Come on, then. Look at the state of our poor bikes. They are absolutely filthy. Oh! Look at that crazy dude. He hasn't washed his bike for a while, has he? Hey, he's shifting though. Jose de Luz riding the goose. <laughs> I am feeling very full after that. Good. Because you ain't getting any more food today. Doesn't it just seem like a really relaxed, chilled way of life here? Look at all them old boys, I bet they meet there every day and have a fag and a brew. <laughs> Everyone's got time for a wave. That's good, isn't it? So this is Toraro. A quick coffee stop in this uh, awesome Portugal town. But remember we were saying earlier about how everybody's really friendly and, and wants to help? Well, that shop I just went in there, in that restaurant, I walked in and the guy says, oh, closed, finished. I oh, saw he closed us for a coffee. He caves almost immediately and asks what we want and gets us drinks and beer. It's so helpful. You've got an ant crawling up your beard. <laughs> an ant crawling on my beard. You've got bugs all over your legs. Or yeah, the remainder they've been, of. They've been killing themselves on my legs. And another zero beer. Another one we haven't tried. Sagers. So much fun. Everyone's so friendly, unbelievable. I'm pretty sure everyone comments on our bikes, but we cannot really understand what they're saying. But they're pointing at the bikes and say, Very nice. We're back for stealing again, aren't we? 
Eva just spotted oranges from the side of the road. That N2 road is fantastic, but there are some parts where there's some really long straights and it just feels endless. Can definitely feel it in my bottom. Yes. <sighs> Do you think it's legal to pick them? I have no idea. I'll tell you what I do think though. Yeah? I think it don't matter, you're going to have one anyway. They don't look very appealing. Appealing? <laughs> I see what you did there. Maybe that's how an orange that's pesticide free looks like. They huh? come from Tesco's as far as I know, that's it. Well, you think everything grows in Tesco anyway. <laughs> Mm. It's very messy actually. I can see why they're all still here, nobody's them. <laughs> <laughs> no good. I saw eating a lemon. <laughs> Ooh. Well there you go, you learnt something new today, didn't you? I prefer them from Tesco. Yeah, let's go to Tesco then. Let's go. I need to wash my hands now. That was really disappointing orange experience. It's more like a, more like a lemon. <laughs> it gave me a chuckle. 60 kilometers left to Farrow. This has been an epic road to be fair. Proper road trip. Well, there you go, Priest and his dog, <laughs> broken down, and an awesome sunset. What an awesome dude, we just stopped there because the, the view is just stunning and the sun was setting, and then there was a, a priest knocking round in his long black robes and his cool dog, and it turns out he speaks English and he spent seven years in London and we had a good chat with him, he was a really cool dude, wasn't he? And uh, his experience of Portugal seems to be the same as ours. It's a very chilled, relaxed place. Nobody gets stressed. Just saying somebody makes a mistake on the road. Nobody beeps. Nobody cares. It's, you know, everybody's all cool. We really like that. In other news though, it is now 20 past eight and we're still a good 30 kilometers away from where we were supposed to be ages ago. <laughs> this N2 though, like, what a way to end the day. This road has been amazing for the last hour or so, and it? It's just been really good. We had to stop and see that orange sky though. It's just amazing. All checked into a campsite. They seem to be very, very nice. They told us to basically pitch our tent anywhere we like. He did say that it's not a season for tents, so they put camper vans into the tent spots. Therefore, we can go anywhere we like. There is multiple showers and toilet blocks. Just putting up the beds. That wasn't too bad, setting up the tent. I think the whole tent setup took us around 20 minutes, maybe. If that. Uh, yeah, and then setting up everything inside, not very long, so. And that's our latest finish though for the day. So what time is it now, about past 10 or something? Yeah, but uh, we've done around 200 miles today on the twisty roads and we had a lot of stops and we were determined to finish that N2 yeah. road tonight, weren't we? So we went the whole length. Yes, um, so we're going to show you 
the actual finish line for N2 another day because we're going to stay in the area for a couple of days and we see what else tomorrow brings awesome you're going to have your cheese sandwich and go to bed cheese sandwich you can skip your dinner yeah. now it's late yeah it's not no. I'm getting grumpy <laughs> I'm grumpy already I need food <laughs> alright see you tomorrow see you in the morning cheers bye